People in the United States love to protest for causes they support. Protests have ranged from all different kinds. There was the Dakota Access Pipeline protest, where environmentalists demanded construction stop on an oil pipeline. There was the Occupy Wall Street protests, where demonstrators were outraged at the 1% ultra-wealthy. And the most famous protest was the BLM protests, where activists were demanding police accountability. There's been massive demonstrations and riots for a lot of causes over the years. But why hasn't there been pushback on AI and its rapid development? I mean, there's tons of reputable people, people like the late Stephen Hawking, who was quoted as saying, AI could be the worst event in the history of our civilization. So are you going to wake up tomorrow, turn on the news, and see that demonstrators are smashing the windows at NVIDIA's headquarters? Probably not, but that is going to change in the near future. AI protests and anti-AI groups will likely explode in popularity in the coming years. Now, do you want to find out why this will be the case? Why future AI protest groups will make the BLM protests look like kids play? Or why pro-AI groups and anti-AI groups will hate each other just like Democrats and Republicans do today? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about that and more. Plus, you'll find out why the Amish might have just been right all along. AI is all the rage these days. No matter where you turn or what you read, you see AI this or AI that. AI is supposed to cure cancer. AI robots will clean your house and mow your lawn for you. AI will mean you no longer have to work ever again. AI will make you immortal. The hype is off the hook, and it's hard not to get caught up in the hysteria. I mean, who wouldn't? Who in their right mind would be against AI doing things like curing diseases or helping people retire early? Right now, there's hardly any reasons to protest this cutting-edge technology. It's going to solve all of our problems. Well, that's what the big AI companies like NVIDIA, Meta, Google, and OpenAI want you to believe. They want to convince everyone that AI will be safe as long as it's regulated properly. It's in their benefit to push this belief out to the masses. But what they don't tell you is there's lots of well-regarded scientists that are very worried about AI. The godfather of AI himself, Jeffrey Hinton, quit his position at Google, citing his growing concerns about the risks of AI systems. He's famous for stating that the odds of AI destroying humanity is close to a simple coin toss. He went on to say that AI is a much greater threat than climate change. There's even a growing community of anti-AI activist groups. A group called Pause.ai has held protests at the doors of OpenAI headquarters among various other locations around the globe. Now, Pause.ai's current protests are kind of weak. There's only a hundred or so people that show up at any given time, but that's going to change quickly in the near future. You see, right now, AI doesn't have any negative impacts on everyday citizens' personal lives. So for most people, there's not any reason to hate AI. It's actually helping them in their lives. A recent survey has shown that 68% of people are using AI to help them with their jobs at work. To them, it's a godsend, a tool that can help them get their work done quicker, leading to things like more quality time with their families and less burnout. The problem is this positive sentiment towards AI could turn negative rather quickly. If AI experts are right, then jobs like truck driving, coding, and bookkeeping could be fully outsourced to AI, which means massive job losses for their human counterparts. Those bookkeepers that once loved AI because it made their jobs easier will begin to hate it. They'll realize that AI ultimately took their job and got them fired. Now, some people out there might say these laid off workers can just find another job and upskill, but that's way easier said than done. That's like telling a 30 year old plumber to learn how to code in today's world. It doesn't really make sense or work. The point of all of this is that AI job replacement is going to get people mad really mad. These laid off people will also realize something else. They'll realize that the future of humanity itself will be controlled by a handful of trillion dollar tech companies via their AI technologies. The days of self-determination and the American dream could be over in a short period of time. Instead of free will and choice, AI is going to determine each and every human's pathway in life for us, whether we like it or not. Humans won't have choice. And all of this will be under the shroud of, we're doing this to make the world a better place. You must comply and do your part 
Otherwise, you're harming the world. Essentially, humans will be more like pets to our AI overlords. Humans are smart, though. We'll eventually see through all of this AI hype for what it really is, a loss of self-control. And that's going to freak a lot of people out. Once this realization sets in, AI protest groups like Pause.ai will explode in popularity. It's going to be the new it thing to protest. Move over Greta Thunberg. You'll likely see mass protests at this point. You could see things like BLM riots on steroids. The headquarters of the top AI players like NVIDIA, Meta, and OpenAI could come under attack in the form of violent protests. Anti-AI activists might try to cut the power to LLM data centers in an attempt to stop artificial intelligence in its tracks. They'll essentially do whatever it takes to literally pull the plug and kill AI. Protesters could also do things like smashing autonomous cars to prove their points to world leaders, and corporate AI robots might be vandalized on city streets as well. Basically, extreme protesters will do whatever it takes to stop the progression of AI. What's more interesting though, is that people will likely start to identify as members of one or two groups. You'll either be pro-AI or anti-AI. The pro-AI group will look down on their counterparts as lunatics who are stuck in the past and are regressive. They'll tell them that AI is for the benefit of humanity and there has to be something wrong with you if you don't support AI initiatives like curing cancer. The anti-AI group will do the same. They'll look at the pro group as a bunch of corporate AI guinea pigs and puppets. Puppets who have blinders on to the fact that AI could end humanity. It will very much be like what the US is experiencing right now between Republicans and the Democrats. Except this new divide will be supercharged since it's not just a political stance, but a stance on human survival itself. The divide will be so great, you might even see these groups migrating to like-minded locations throughout the country. Pro-AI groups might choose to live by AI data centers, while anti-AI groups might choose to live off the grid in the country and as far away from electricity, AI's lifeline as possible. They'll essentially be the new Amish, except without their strict religious policies. The Amish just might prove that they were right all along. So over the next few years, when the sentiment on AI starts to turn sour, just remember, you might have to choose. Are you gonna be pro artificial intelligence or anti? Whatever you decide, just be sure to get that U-Haul ready. You'll likely either be moving to the middle of nowhere or to the house next door to Sam Altman. Oh. Take your key card. You may now enter the residence. And just to be clear, all of these scenarios are just my opinions on what could likely happen. That doesn't mean these scenarios will play out. Rest assured, the human spirit will endure no matter what happens. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about interesting AI videos, check out my other vid, Aliens Will Never Reach Earth, the great AI filter. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.